Kenny Harrison got the win here in Atlanta. Once again in Atlanta, coming off yeah. two weeks ago. I mean, what did this race feel like for you? Um, honestly, I feel like the beginning was not what I wanted at all. But, you know, talking to my coach, he's just like, you know, we were working on the end. And that's what I did do well today. I was able to keep my composure um, and catch back up and, and get the win. So we're always just looking at the, the, the positive side. Um, he said I did exactly what he wanted to do. So now it's like we got to clean up that beginning. Um, in each race, I have New York. So that's a, that's a meet that I'm going to be able to work on my beginning. Um, I know it's good competition there and then just get ready for trials after that. And bouncing back where you've raced a couple times, but you've not raced maybe as frequently as yeah. maybe in previous years, right? How have you been balanced on all that? Um, you know, I'm just trusting my coach, trusting the process. Um, he calls me a vet and I know what to do. Um, I don't need to get a lot of races in me to go out there and run well. Um, sometimes it's just about staying present, working on the small things. Uh, he's like, he didn't expect me to come out here and run 12-3. Um, so he's like, the time will come when I need you to do that, but it's not right now. We're going to focus on each part of the race. Sorry. Um, and so, yeah, just trust the plan. You don't consider yourself a vet? Or no, I do. Experience? No, okay. I'm saying I am a vet, so yeah. I don't need to be running as much. There you go. I got you. <laughs> but as, as a vet going into the trials, how does that help you? Um, I think it's just trusting in what I've already been doing these past couple years. My body knows what to do. I know Bobby's a championship coach and I'll be ready um, and I'll be able to run the fast times when it matters. So you talk about the small things working on it. Can you talk about specifics? Because I mean, it's pretty tight and the trials and potentially the Olympics itself. Yeah, I mean, it's just like when I'm coming out of those blocks, it's like I want to run like a sprinter. I need to be able to keep my head down and attack hurdle one like it's not there. Um, so training with like Jenna Prandini and Morla Kay, uh, they help me to get my start where it needs to be. Um, again, it's having a clean technique, not hitting the hurdles. Um, that's, those are like the small things that you have to perfect in order to come away with the win. How do you um, balance where in Atlanta a couple weeks ago you were by yourself essentially, right? Now you have almost your entire team here, right? Does that give you some comfortability being able to come out here, warm up with more like a and everything? Yeah, I think it's nice to have my teammates out here. Um, we're all supporting each other. We all know what we each are working on. Um, so it's nice to see a familiar face. It's nice to have Bobby here. Um, just to, rem to remind me my cues. All right. um, so, oh yeah, it's, it's great having my teammates out here. Do you more lucky in More lucky? Another one of our legends. More lucky? Thank you. <laughs> Y'all ever talk about what's harder to make the Olympic team? Like the Reeders has the cemented team herself team. as one of the greatest <laughs> Americans <laughs> of all time. I mean, I feel like every event's hard. I feel like no event's easy. Um, and we know it's going to take 100% of effort. And we just hope to be on, on that day. Um, in terms of time, in 2022, you guys pushed the limits to all the top seniors. And last year, it was 12 for Daniel Isuri. Do you and your coach talk about uh, the time is possible for this year's Olympics and the trials? And what your body can take, going through all of you, and you're also the second the fastest of all time. I mean, I feel like uh, there is no limit of how fast these hurdles can be. You know, my coach thinks that you can go sub-11, so, I mean, sub-12. So, um, that's my mindset. Um, especially with just how competitive the hurdles are, of course, I feel like we're going to be able to push ourselves to that limit. Um, so it's just exciting to see how the hurdles are evolving and how this event is so stacked. Um, I expect 12-2s, 12-1s this year, maybe 12-0s. Um, so something fast. Thanks so much, Kenny.